Hi guys. It is a spectacularly gorgeous, over the top beautiful day here in, is this paradise? I cannot believe that I am in New Jersey. I had no clue how, uh, what New Jersey looked like here on this glorious, it is a Tuesday, uh, September 12th, 2023, uh, coming into New York City, baby. It is 45 miles to New York City. I will come back and do a rant about the last time I was in New York City, but I certainly had no idea that 45 miles west of New York City in the shithole state of New Jersey was uh, was this beautiful. I, I've been reading about all of these bears in New Jersey and I'm thinking, how the fuck can there be a bear in New Jersey? But anyway, uh, I'm not exactly here to talk about New Jersey. It's, I'm here to talk about a one of these flashing signs that you see driving along. I'm on a I-80 East is where I am and not sure if this has anything to do with the fact that yesterday was September 11th or not, but the sign, and I did not catch who you were supposed to call unfortunately, there's this big blinking orange sign saying do you suspect terrorism suspect terrorism and if you do suspect terrorism uh, you were supposed to call as I say I don't know who the hell it was you were supposed to call if you suspect terrorism but they had an 800 number to call if you suspect terrorism <laughs> well, I suspect terrorism. Uh, I, every day that I fucking wake up anymore, I suspect terrorism everywhere I turn. Uh, I don't think it's the kind of terrorism they are uh, talking about. Of course, I think it's some other kind of terrorism that they're talking about. But, uh, anyway, I am just floating along through life, cruising across New Jersey on I 80, one of the lifelines of the nation. I guess this road started in San Francisco, California. And it's going to end, I guess it ends at I-95. Where uh, I will be coming in to New York. Baby. Uh... Oh yeah, I will tell this story as long as... Uh, and once I get into the city, I'll tell you about my last time. But the last time, I'm almost sure it was this very road that uh, I was coming down would have been, it was Labor Day. It was actually Labor Day Monday in 1976. 1976, and I was 16 years old. And I was hitchhiking around the country with my dog. Imagine that, uh, Hamba and Little Tail, hitchhiking around the country with his dog. That was my dog, Joshua. So uh, I had never been to New York City. So this is the story of my first trip. No, I had been to New York City, that's right, I forgot about that. So this was my second time to New York City. I've been to New York City three times. Today will be the fourth. Uh, so, c 
coming in on Labor Day to meet up with these friends that uh, I had met on this trip that I've mentioned before that I uh, had taken to the Yucatan Peninsula back when Cancun was a was a virgin beach uh, in 1973 or 74 uh, so I met these guys it was uh, this gay couple Gene and Perry who lived all I can remember is they lived somewhere along the Hudson River uh, someplace called the Palisades that their swanky apartment looked out over the uh, the Palisades so uh, I was hitchhiking in to meet up with, with these uh, <laughs> with, with these guys they were they were quite the couple Gene and Perry uh, so anyway I'm 99% sure it was this very road and I'm sitting there uh, probably somewhere around here about 50 miles outside of uh, New York City heading in back into the town on Labor Day Monday you can imagine the traffic that uh, it looked like and what pulled over was this long white Cadillac pulled over and inside the Cadillac was essentially a Puerto Rican street gang. I'm pretty sure there were four kids. They were about my age, uh, maybe a couple of years older than me. Uh, this Puerto Rican street gang and dr driving this Cadillac and obviously they wanted to know my story. They had never seen such a thing. I had this big ass backpack and a dog and my sign simply said help and a, a uh, cardboard sign that said help. So they pull over and obviously I'm a little bit leery of getting in a car with four uh, Puerto Ricans but they seem like nice enough guys so uh, I get in and we get back on the road and they inform me that they stole this car this Cadillac they stole this Cadillac but you know they wanted me to know that they weren't thieves that it was kind of like Ferris Bueller's day off I guess they were only borrowing the Cadillac and uh, they did not want me to think of them as thieves and they said they were going to return the Cadillac from where they had borrowed it uh, so they made that clear so we're coming down in this traffic jam and Joshua you know kind of like Sancho Panza likes to lean his head out the window and this car since it was a Cadillac uh, it had power windows and so my dog is leaning his head out of the window going down the road heading into New York City and he steps on the power windows and he rolls his head up in the window and Needless to say, what this uh, set off, the cacophony of screaming this set off in the car. I, I had no fucking idea what was going on, and neither did any of these kids. We, we all had no fucking clue what was going on, uh, and, and, and my goddamn dog uh, had managed to roll his head up in the window and the top of the window glass was, was like choking him to death and, and good 
God, we were all on full fucking freak out trying to figure out how to roll the fucking window down. So anyway, we, we get through that uh, little trauma without any lasting injury to my dog. And so we're heading into town and of course they were having all kinds of trouble understanding me understanding my southern accent they had they had never heard a southern accent in their life so it's like they couldn't understand what the fuck i was saying so anyway because of the language barrier between my accent and theirs they misunderstood where I wanted to get let off. Uh, I was saying something like, I want to get let off at 285th Street. But somehow they heard me say 185th Street. So anyway, we're off 100 blocks is the, is the bottom line. So we're get going in this direction on Labor Day and I'm thinking that we're getting closer and closer to my to my uh, exit, which we're I, I'm just pulling this number 285th Street out of my ass, guys. It, you, you know, this was 1976, and so anyway, it was somewhere we were. I, I vaguely remember we were near. Uh, Yankee Stadium and, and I'm looking at the numbers and we're like at 200th Street going you know the numbers of the streets clearly going down and I'm going guys I think I was supposed to get out of here like a, a hundred blocks ago you know, I sure as shit uh, didn't know anything uh, about about goddamn New York City. And they're going, what the fuck? You know, so they misunderstood me. And so they go, ah, fuck. So they they pull this their stolen or borrowed Cadillac uh, uh, off to the side of the road. And, you know, they were really nice guys. They apologized profusely for dumping me off. But now I have overshot my destination by call it 70 or 80 blocks. I had I had overshot my fucking destination. So I'm standing there heading the wrong fucking direction. And this of course was the day way before cell phones. And uh and so I had no way of calling my friends to, so I just told them I would figure out when I got into the city some way to call them on a payphone. And uh, so I, I put this fucking pack on my back and I grabbed my dog and I had to run across like eight lanes of traffic. Uh, wearing this big backpack with a, a fucking dog and I had to run across all of these lanes of traffic uh, first the the southbound lanes and then the northbound lanes so I I make it across unbelievably without getting killed and I come up to the shoulder on the other side of the fucking road there's nowhere the fuck for people to pull off and I uh, and I uh, <clears throat> just like do the best I can and I and I get up on the the shoulder of the fucking road with cars flying by, like, motherfucker, the sun's starting to go down. Uh, I'm 16 years old uh, on the side of the fucking road on Labor Day in New York City. I've got no way to call anybody. Well, I've been there about five minutes, and, and this goddamn car 
comes screeching to a halt and, and, and manages to get off the road uh, w without causing a pile up or running over me or killing themselves. So it, and so I go up to the car and it's this absolutely irate, like late middle-aged woman. I mean, completely fucking irate just screaming at me and you know in her thick New York accent what the fuck you think you're doing what the fuck you think you're doing <coughs> she was ready to fucking kill me I do remember she was uh, from uh, she worked at the post office is all I remember and, and uh, she was absolutely ready to fucking kill me and so I'm explaining to her uh, the situation that I'm in, you know, and I, and I said, all I need to do is uh, get to a fucking payphone. I just need you to get me off the goddamn side of the road and, and get me to a payphone. And uh, so she uh, pulls off the... Uh, you know, she, she gets us off the freeway onto some surface street, uh, probably 185th Street or whatever. And uh, so I call my friends to come pick me up, and she just grabs the phone out of my hand and starts yelling. Uh, she starts screaming at my friends. Uh, about the whole situation and uh, they assure her that they're on their way and that Sam found his way from Atlanta, Georgia to that payphone and they're quite sure that uh, he's fine and that woman would not leave my side. Uh, she sat right there uh, till my friends showed up and then she gave them another tongue lashing for ever suggesting to some fucking 16 year old kid with a backpack and a dog uh, just to come hitchhiking in to New York City and give them a call when I got there so anyway, that was my uh, that was my exciting visit to New York City in 1976, and then it was 21 years later that uh, I made my next trip uh, to New York City. But I will tell you about that one. When I get into New York City, the sign says New York City, 30 miles. I am 30 miles from New York City, baby, dragging this goddamn trailer. Uh, so wish me luck. Onward I go through the craziness on this absolutely gorgeous day in the end times my guys